Hi and welcome to my review of the goodies, the complete BBC collection. Today we're up to goodies and politics. When all of Britain's politicians give themselves such huge pay rises that they can retire overseas, Bill and Tim decide to vie to be the next Prime Minister, relying on Graham's advertising agency to manage their campaigns. This episode starts with the triumphant and very welcome return of the goodies ad parodies, and these are crackers. I was thrilled to see uh, Bill's new outfit for the start of Season 8, and it's a real return to his previous cool styles. I also love the little detail of his man bag pouch thing that he wears on his belt and I love Bill's new haircut. I noticed that the office set seems to have been redone for the start of this new season and it looks pretty good. It was lovely to see the return of Corbett Woodall as the newsreader in this episode but I was a little bit sad to see that Corbett Woodall I felt did not look well. I understand he did have some chronic ongoing health issues and he does not look well here. Tim as Margaret Thatcher in this episode is pure comedy gold and I did love seeing them rip into Margaret Thatcher. Another highlight of this one for me was the amazing decor of Graham's advertising agency office. It had some really cool pieces of design in there including the fantastic Arco lamp and also that faux fur chair. This is a really great satire of politics of the time and of political advertising in general. But one of the biggest shocks in this episode for me was Graham's new look. Uh, Graham has lost his trademark sideburns, mutton chops, he's got a much shorter haircut and perhaps even new glasses. He looks quite different and very smart. I also loved Bill's Che character and I thought there were perhaps some shades of Citizen Smith in this one. Another recurring gag that's popped up in this one is Bill's fixation with Jane Fonda. This was first introduced in Earth and Asia. Tim's singing in this episode is really great and it made me think he doesn't get the chance to sing that often in the show. Graham plays so many characters in this episode and it's a real showcase for his versatility and his impressions. I can't remember another episode where Graham has played quite so many characters as this one. But really they all get to play multiple roles in this story and they do seem to be having a lot of fun. The image of Tim and Bill as conjoined Prime Ministers drunkenly popping balloons is one that has always stuck in my mind from seeing the episode decades ago. I notice that Season 8 also introduces a new iteration of the goodies theme at the end and it does feature a sort of synthesizer clavinet type intro. I could be wrong but I don't think we've heard this before. This episode's guest stars included David Dimbleby, Joe Kendall, Corbett Woodall and Nicholas McArdle. In some ways this episode seems very topical to elements of its time such as Margaret Thatcher, the Evita musical, Vanessa Redgrave and many broadcasting personalities of its moment. Yet somehow the comedy just transcends this topicality and it is still brilliantly funny 41 years after it was first aired. This is an episode with just so many unforgettable moments. I really liked that they were sending up Margaret Thatcher and also drawing attention to the way that marketing and PR and spin can be used to manipulate voters and to turn politics into a kind of circus. A circus where image is all that matters. This episode does seem to anticipate the broadcasting of Parliament on TV and also the kind of media publicity stunts that are now a very common part of politics. But for me, it's really Tim who steals this episode and he has some of this show's most memorable moments, including the classic Don't Cry For Me, Margentina moment. This really does stand out as one of the series' most unforgettable gags. After taking a two-year break from filming the goodies, the chaps have returned, it seems revitalised and with a lot to say. This episode I thought was clever, fast-paced and very funny and I really liked the scope of it. And it just has so many laughs. Season 8, the final BBC season, is off to a really strong start and I hope you'll join me next time when we move on to another episode 
that I remember very fondly. Saturday Night Grease. I hope I'll see you then. Bye.